From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 o'clock. Thanks for being with us on this Monday, March 27th. I'm Nicole Nalepa. We are on top of several stories around the state, but first we'll start you off in Waterbury, where we're learning that officials say some neighborhoods may see some discolored water this morning for a couple of hours. Now, this is all due to a crash and a water main break that took place over the weekend on Cherry Street, right by East Main Street. The water is safe, but uh, unappealing to the human eye, to say the least. Sediment and minerals are stirred up and need some time to to settle down and that will not happen until the water main is repaired, which is expected to take a few hours. And in Torrington, one person is recovering in the hospital this morning after a serious crash last night. Police say a car and motorcycle were both involved in that wreck right on Hayden Hill on Route 183. Crews shut down the road while they investigated, but it has since been open and we'll be sure to bring you some more details as soon as we learn more. Also, taking you now to Old Lyme, where we're learning this morning the crews are investigating a house fire that kept multiple crews busy for several hours. That fire broke out on Meeting House Lane just before 5 yesterday morning. And we're still working to learn some more information, including if there were any injuries and how that fire started. So we'll be sure to bring you more updates, both on air and on the Channel 3 app. And today, we are also working to learn more about what caused a fire in Preston. Take a look here. Wow, look at that picture. Now, this all started yesterday yesterday morning pretty early right on Cedar Crest Drive. We're told that the fire spread quickly after starting in a garage, but that no one was hurt, thankfully. And moving you now to New Haven, where investigators this morning are still trying to figure out what caused a deadly crash Saturday night. Now, this all happened on Woodward Avenue right by Fort Hill Park shortly after 6 p.m. Police say that when they showed up, they found the driver dead right inside a Toyota Tundra that was smashed against the wooden guardrail. This morning, we're working with officials to find out if anyone was hurt after this two-car crash in Bolton. Wow, look at this. This happened Sunday right on Route 6 by Johnson Road, and we are still trying to figure out what led up to this crash. So stay with Eyewitness News and the Channel 3 app. Now let's send it over to Mike to see how the weather is going to fare today. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Nicole. We're expecting increasing clouds today, and that means that temperatures will climb quickly this morning under full sunshine. But as the clouds mix in, temperatures climb a bit more slowly, only topping out uh, likely in the low to mid 50s at the shoreline, mid to upper 50s expected inland. These are the showers that we watch here. As the storm system becomes a bit more organized, eventually uh, we will start to see some showers develop. We can actually see some rain already appearing on the radar, uh, say near Roanoke, Virginia, and north closer to uh, the West Virginia Highlands. These are the showers that we watch as they take shape and work their way toward Connecticut. Temperatures for many of us right now in in the 30s, a couple of upper 20s popping up. Danbury, Meriden, and Willimantic all in the upper 20s. Some patchy frost certainly possible, but it will be short-lived thanks to this right here. A live look in our eye cam right now in stores. We're overlooking uh, the Yukon campus here too. Just gorgeous to see the sun up. A live look in our eye cam in Torrington. The sun now over the horizon as well. So any frost that's out there pretty short-lived this morning with big improvements by say 9 o'clock. But by 1 p.m. this afternoon, clouds will have increased again. Future cast showing showers developing and between 4 and 6, we see sh uh, showers overspread the entire state. See these yellows that are mixed in like this blob right here? That signifies some moderate rain possible at times. And this will be fairly steady before it starts to break apart later this evening. There could be a bit of mixing that on goes or uh, rather some wet snowflakes or some sleet that will mix in across portions of northwestern or northeastern Connecticut and higher elevations, but not really expecting big impacts from that. And uh, this will continue to uh, just show a drying trend as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Many of us only picking up about a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain total. So not expecting big impacts from this at all. As far as snowfall goes, the higher risk for accumulating snow is really going to be north of the Mass Pike in the Berkshires and into the Green Mountains of Vermont, as well as across the Catskills of New York State. So for many of us, we actually end up with quieter uh, and rather wetter conditions as opposed to snowier conditions. By Wednesday, we track another weak storm system. This drops a cold front through Wednesday night, and there's so much dry air that moves in so quickly with high pressure settling in on Thursday that we still actually get to enjoy quite a bit of sun during the day on Thursday. This high pressure ends up setting up off to our east, and our wind shifts to be out at the southwest. That helps to pull in milder air to end the week, but we'll also be tracking this uh, area of low pressure near the Great Lakes because it'll push a warm front through, which brings back the risk for some rain showers. Both the American and European models at this point in time showing rain developing for later Friday 
Friday. That's a snapshot of 11 p.m. Friday. So forecast high temperatures today. Many of us into the 50s. Increasing clouds with evening rain showers expected. And then tonight we see scattered rain showers, but we will be a bit drier by daybreak. Uh, most of the steadier precip wraps up by midnight tonight. Just a little bit of mixing across the highest elevations. Early warning seven day forecast highlighting a couple of things here. First and foremost, uh, Wednesday into Thursday still looking like decent weather overall, but Thursday will certainly be a bit chillier and breezier, so it's going to feel colder outside. By Friday, we're back into the 50s. Rain showers develop and last into Saturday morning. Highs on Saturday in the low 60s. Uh, and then by Sunday, we're still breezy with temps back in the 50s. So, Nicole, certainly a spring-like week here in Connecticut and not much in the way of uh, wintry weather that we have to worry about. Yeah. All right. Hey, we'll take on those warmer temperatures. We love them. Thanks, Mike. Happening today in Manchester, the man accused of having inappropriate conversations with a 10 year old is expected to appear in court. Police say Christopher Delord Cameron spoke with that child over text, adding that their inappropriate conversations spanned over several weeks. He was arrested after police searched his home in Hartford. And now we know that Cameron is charged with risk of injury to a minor and impairing the morals of a minor. He has been held on a $100,000 bond. And today in Hartford, Mayor Luke Bronin will be unveiling his city budget proposal to the city council. Now, the proposal will address issues of top priority for the capital city. His presentation starts at 2 this afternoon. Plus, at 5 tonight, Mayor Bronin will also deliver the State of the City address to review the last seven years and his plan for his final year in office. He will not be seeking another term. Of course, we'll keep you in the loop here on air and on the Channel 3 app. There's a QR code to scan if you don't have it already. And we continue to follow the Huskies as they continue their road to a championship. The women's team was knocked out by Ohio State on Saturday, but we now know that the men's team will be facing in the final four, uh, the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, now this is all after the Hurricanes defeated Texas. So this is the men's program's sixth time making it to the final four, and they have just under a week to rest before heading to Houston. Game tip off is Saturday at 8.49 p.m. And our sports team will be there, of course, for live coverage of the Huskies as they continue their road to an NCAA title. Ah, we are so excited for Saturday, but we got to get through this week and we'll be here for you. So thank you so much for tuning into Eyewitness News on this Monday morning. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on that Channel 3 app. Have a great day, everyone. Be healthy, stay positive, and we'll see you tomorrow.